Oh, it was Power here to review the Power Saber Happy Brave Dragon Wonder Ride book. So, excuse me. Um, this is our annual Christmas item. Obviously, these are the items that always come with the Christmas cakes, and um. You know, uh, this is in a very simple packaging. Typically, yes, this will be covered in, like, bubble wrap and such, but then mine was sold like this. It does come in the bubble wrap, but then it comes in another thing, which is why I'm not really too concerned about it. So let's just get it out of the thing. All right, so here we have the Wonder Ride book out of its <coughs> packaging. Um... As you can see, it's mainly the same. It's just... If you're obviously not familiar, this is a candy toy body, as it's all... Candy toy slash pack-in body, as it's all one piece. And the Wonder Mark is a bleat sticker with the QR code for Gomberizing present in the back. So... Obviously, it doesn't have sounds, and this one's, again, too, well, obviously, it's two-toned, but this one is now a really bright red, and the secondary color is now a dark green, obviously, to emit Christmas. And here we have the cover, Happy Brave Dragon. It's fairly similar to the other Happy books. This one's just fully Christmas, <laughs> which I do appreciate. Um, because now Brave Dragon has a Santa hat and such, and, you know, this, all the snow and such, which is really pretty overall. Um, this is the Divine Beast, obviously, because it's just Brave Dragon yet again. To get the transformation page, simply press this. And this one's actually different compared to the others, because obviously it's a pack-in, or a cake pack-in. And obviously they had to make it special somehow, so they actually added this, um dot pattern overlay on the traditional Brave Dragon, or like, yeah, Brave Dragon transmission page, which I think, besides this, I think there is slight color differences, and maybe, uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be snow or anything, but this is also green now, so they did uh, get that right. And then comparing it with original Brave Dragon, obviously, uh, I, I kind of like this cover a bit more, uh, just because of the blues and green, the combination of blue and green. But, um, again, it's, and again, the, my IOSO I think is a bit too bright, but as you can tell, uh, the brightness of red is definitely prominent. And then, to get the transmission page. Yeah, okay, so they, again, they applied the same, they made this side a bit more purple. But, they definitely made it a bit darker, but this one, they definitely didn't do as much difference compared to the other ones, just because of this holographic dot overlay they added, so yeah, let's use this in all of the readable seconds. Alright, so obviously Rekka, because of it being Saber specific, so slot in the slot like so. So just like the rest, we get Happy Rider with the pink LED and such. I do think it is kind of weird this time around. We don't have a Christmas specific sound because <laughs> this will technically be the first year in a while that we haven't had a Christmas specific sound within these toys, which is really 
surprising. Anyways, we have our two traditional finishers. Oh, see, I meant to say, let's do the Hisatsu Dokas, the Hisatsu Geki, and Hisatsu Giri. Now we'll do the Shutoku Isen. And let it transition. So, obviously, now at this point, we have previously covered Happy Lion Senki and Happy Lamto Arjuna. Um, so I won't do the uh, Nisatsu combo because you should have already seen it within the review for this. So we will just jump straight to the Sunsets. Which I won't bother activating Lion Senki. So this is technically Happy Cross Saber. Shoot. So there we have the full uh, wonder combo of Happy Rider, which I think it's fine. Uh, like, it's... Happy Rider is not particularly one of my favorites, but, like, you know, I think it works for what it's trying to evoke and such. To which then, here we have the full, again, technically happy featuring Saber. I'm pretty sure I did not call it featuring Saber uh, beforehand, but, um... Yeah, I do think, like, these two work well, but then, like, obviously this one kind of stands out, because, again, this one's the only one that's actually a different color. <laughs> and also just because, honestly, again, like, half of them, like, a spot, for example, I think actually works really well for, like, the Christmas thing they're going for. Blades, they clearly weren't going for that. And I don't have Happy Jaku Dragon with me, but that one also kind of didn't really go with the Christmas thing. So it's kind of weird that, like, two of the three books, or of the main, like, books for the Happy Line are actually Christmas theme and the others aren't. Anyways, we have our typical Hisatsu Dokaz. And then the Giri. It's just that repeating. And obviously, if we were to do the Chutoku, Chutoku Isen, it's just basically gonna, it's just reading this one book three times. This is why I don't refer to it as the Chutoku, Chutoku Isen, because obviously that that's only referring to one book. That's why I just called it the uh, Hisatsu Read and such. Um, anyways, moving on. Here we go with the Kyomu once again. Let's perish Christmas once and for all. Jeez. Uh, 
Obviously, it's Eternal Wonder. It's pink and then transitions to orange. He's such a muck duck. Sorry. But, um, it would have been cool to see Happy Eternal Phoenix, but I get they can't do that because premium. And yeah. Last but not least, jeez, Kurayami, obviously we won't do the Hisatsu read. <laughs> Still one of my favorites. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so overall, uh, what I think about this Wonder Ride book is that I, I do think it's a neat Wonder Ride book, for sure. Like, it fits in with the traditional rider gimmick Christmas item and such, just cause I kind of do like this one a bit more than the original one. And, you know, if you do have uh, these two, then, like, you get the complete, obviously, you get a complete combo and such. However, obviously, you can, this can easily be substituted with, I mean, any, just because of how these ones work, you don't need, like, this specific trio. It's just that, you know, obviously, the, this, the specific trio, they advertise for this and such. But you can substitute this for, like, Happy Gimbu Shinmua and such. Happy Lion Senki is the only one you can't substitute. But then again, like, you can just do a, you can just have Gimbu Shinmua or, like, uh, Hansel Nuts to Gretel and then this and just not have it match and such, but I digress. Um, like, I don't remember what I, what, I don't remember what I said about these two, honestly, but like, honestly, like, I'll, I'll just say, like, it's, it's alright at best. It, I think the thing that sucks with this one definitely is that it's not DX. I get that they don't do DX stuff with the cakes because obviously that's in partnership with the candy toy division of Bandai. So like obviously they want everything there is mainly candy toys. Like the packets are mainly candy toy stuff. So that like rarely we ever get a DX item, like a DX Christmas item and such because, like, again, with jumping to Revice, the sole reason as to why the SG Vice stamps got made was solely for that Christmas Vice stamp to exist. So, um, I think that's just my only nitpick. This one would have worked really well as a DX. Instead, they made Happy Lion Senki DX. And what's really weird is that technically, you can substitute this with the Lucky Brave Dragon. Uh, that's the Choco campaign, because that one's DX, but also plays Happy Rider. So, in that, you can technically substitute it substitute this book for that one but obviously that one's like 10 times more expensive than this one so i don't think it's overall worth it as for actually trying to obtain this one it's not great i it's cheap but it's not that present uh i think i, I got this one off of buy for like about 
eleven dollars before fees. So about sixteen dollars, which was which is all right, because you you do kind of have to practically pay about like twenty dollars for these Christmas items. But you know, again, I at least. You know, I finally at least got to cover the Happy Rider. Or I finally finished Happy Rider here and such. But I don't think this one's as desirable of a Christmas gimmick as opposed to like the Santa Claus ghost icon or even like. Uh, what do I want to bring up? <laughs> like, I. I'm forgetting what I've been covering now. I don't know. This one just... It's not as exciting anymore, I guess, to me. Which is kind of weird. I think I'm like this because this video is too long. Anyways, up, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Even though this is getting released on Christmas Eve. Enjoy the demos. This is Power on Leave people. Bye.